Hey guys, this is Lair, and today I want to share a really cool VR experience with you. Uh, this is the Spider-Man Far From Home Virtual Reality Experience, and it's exactly that. You get to be Spider-Man. So what you're seeing here are my hands in virtual reality. I'm able to move my fingers around, able to move my arms with the controllers, and uh, I have web shooters on either hand, uh, and it's all pretty natural. So now I'm going to jump off this building and go down into the city and start swinging. Uh, I will say that at first this was pretty disorienting, but now I've done it enough that I'm pretty used to it. So this fall right here, uh, when you're in virtual reality, you actually kind of feel like you're falling. It's pretty crazy. Um, the speed and the scale of these buildings and the height off the ground, it all feels real. So right now, while I'm swinging through the city here, it actually feels like I'm Spider-Man and I'm shooting these webs out and swinging off these buildings. It's really, really unbelievable. This game is definitely going to be one of my new demo games to show people when they come over and try VR for the first time. Because uh, a lot of people, when they think about virtual reality, they think, oh, it's a gimmick, it's kind of like 3D, or it's kind of like... Um, you know, curved TVs or whatever. It's just some new fad that's going to fade out of existence. But it's games like this and experiences like this that make me think that that can't be true because this is something I could never experience on any other form of media. And uh, it's really, really unbelievable when you're in there and you're getting to do something like this, you know, something I've wanted to do since I was a little kid, playing you know, Spider-Man on the PS1 or Spider-Man 2 on the PS2 or whatever. Um, I, I sat there with a controller in my hand and I played and I imagined that I was Spider-Man swinging through the city and it was really, really cool, but it's just nothing compared to this. There is no comparison at all to actually being there and actually doing it. So this game does have a short story mode and it's really cool it's about 15 minutes long it involves chasing this robot and fighting him while he rampages through New York um, I, I loved it it was awesome it's not as fun to me though as just free roam swinging through the city and uh, because of that I thought I'd just cover the free roam in this video and kind of show you how cool it can be as far as comfort goes uh, I would say that this is a pretty intermediate VR experience. Um, if you're not totally familiar with how VR works and how motion sickness in VR works, or VR sickness, some people call it, um, really there's a number of factors that determine how motion sick a game is going to make you. Most of the time, the problem is the disconnect your brain has between what you're seeing on screen and what you're feeling in real life. And one other instance of that, or one other example of that, is when the things that are happening in the game don't relate well to what your brain expects to happen. For instance, if you're in zero gravity and you're floating, that might be really, really, really disorienting because our minds are trained around this idea of, of you know, if I'm not standing on something, I'm falling, and that's scary. Uh, but in Spider-Man, I don't think it's as jarring as some of those other experiences because at least you are in control. You have the webs, and you know that if you can stick your web to a building, you can swing from it, and everything behaves the way that you believe that it will. And there's something about that. There's something kind of comforting about knowing that you're still in control that helps a lot. You know, heights aren't as scary if you're a bird and all you have to do is flap your wings and you can fly. So here while I'm swinging through the city of Spider-Man, these heights are really jarring and it's it's kind of scary to be up that high, but then I remember, oh wait, I can swing from these buildings, I'm not going to hit the ground and it gets a lot easier. And the motion sickness really I think benefits from that or the possibility of motion sickness benefits from that because uh, you're in complete control the whole time. Anyway, guys, I highly recommend checking this out. If you haven't tried it yet and you have a VR headset, this is the game you need to download and try if you think that you can handle it. 
If you don't think you can handle it, there are some comfort options uh, like vignetting around the edges of the screen. Um, you can kind of reduce your view to a little small circle in the center of the screen, which helps with uh, VR sickness and comfort a little bit. Um, so there are some options for people who don't think that full-on Spidey swinging around the city is going to work for them. But uh, I highly encourage you to give it a try either way, because I, I think it's worth giving it a shot. I know this video is a little different than most of the videos I make, but I just really wanted to share this because I'm having so much fun with it. It's a free demo that I've sunk maybe five or six hours into so far, and I don't know if I'll ever stop playing it. It's that much fun. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this. I hope that if you have a VR headset, you'll check it out. And uh, let me know down in the comments what you think. I mean, is this something that you've always wanted to try, actually swinging around like Spider-Man? Or is this something you don't care about? I'd really love to hear. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.